Okay, in this movie, I want to show you one of the most interesting objects inside Houdini. And I didn't see this kind of object in another uh, 3D application. And it's really powerful. I'm going to select this L system, that, that this icon that looks like a tree. I'm going to click Control and click in order to create our L system. Now you can see we have some kind of a tree, right? So I'm going to double click on my node. And as you can see, we have this uh, weird node, right? We have four different inputs, one output, and that's it. Now, I want to show you what are our parameters. And we have a lot of different parameters. We have rules, functions, values, tube, geometry. Well, let's start with the type. We have a skeleton, and this is only a skeleton. So to make it more interesting, I'm going to select tube. Now we have something that looks more like a tree, right? Generations. We can decrease the number of generations. We can see how it... Uh, we can increase or decrease, and even if you don't, if you can go more than five or seven, you can type a, a number here. You type ten. And there we go. We have something cooler now, right? Now we have the start position, random scale, and we can tweak this, right? We have random seed, continuous angles, apply color. If I click here, I can go and navigate in my hard drive and select an image and place it to my object. I'm going to deselect that for now. Now we can go to the tube options and we have rows, columns, same thing. Tension, right? How tense is going to be. Now we have branch blend, how the branches are going to be blended. Thickness, this one, you can see how it works, right? The thickness, the scale, applied tube uh, texture coordinates, and a lot of different options. I'm going to do this to have this kind of Thickness, then I'm going to move to, well, we have values, function, uh, functions, and I want to show you these rules. Some of the, uh, I just want to show you what we can do here. So we have uh, the premise, all right? And we have rules. So this is the power of uh, where the L systems, uh, all the, the power of the L systems are. Uh, for example, I'm going to select prim, uh, premise, and then I'm going to delete the A, and then you can see how that... Uh, everything disappears. We have only this uh, portion of our L system. Now, if I go and uh, type plus F, press enter, now you can see I create a modification here. If I select and type another F, oops, sorry. There we go. And if I click here, type an A, there we go. So that's how we can manipulate this with our premise. And we have the rules too. So this is really complex, and we are going to create another tutorial for L systems. And um, for example, just uh, delete this. Now I'm gonna type AA. Okay, press Enter, and there we go. We have something crazy here going on. I can type A again, Enter, and there we go. So as you can see, with this kind of code or letters, we can create a lot of different and interesting kind of things. Now it is not only uh, it, it doesn't only create trees. We can create all kinds of uh, weird uh, shapes and motion paths. A lot of different uh, things that we can do with this uh, L system. And actually, that that's for this lesson. Uh, I hope you have an idea of uh, what is uh, what we can do with this option, with this uh, tool. And I see you in the next movie.